Hey everyone, I'm Adam Walker, MLA for Parksville Qualicum. We're down here at the Qualicum Pet Food Store to meet the good folks inside. Come with me. Carrie, thanks so much for taking the time today. You're welcome. So can you tell me about the Qualicum Pet Store? So we're just a small family owned business, been here 30 years and we just survived. <laughs> You're not just surviving, you're yeah. thriving. I no, mean, we're thriving, we're doing good. We've got lots of food options. We also have options of bringing in food that people don't see on the shelves. I have over 200 people now that we bring in specials for. So uh, we do it monthly, bi-weekly, however often they need. That's great. 30 years. 30 years they've survived, yeah. Wow. I love having relationships with people here. I try and put a personal touch on it. Yeah. So I know clients by name, I know what they need, and I just think it's really important to have that personal touch with them. How important is it for people to have a pet in their life? It's really important. I find that if, ever, if you can have a pet, you should have a pet. Whether it be a goldfish to a giant dog or even a horse. It's, you know, they love you no matter what. Don't tell my kids about the horse. Right. <laughs> or goat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so you're able to, through this, through eight years, so you've built a lot of relationships with people. I've built a lot of relationships. I started here a couple of hours a week to now I'm pretty much here all the time. Clients can come in and they can give me the specifics of what they need, whether it's grain free grain, their dog or cat has dietary issues, allergies. And a lot of the time I have to do my research myself and I take their names and numbers and I spend a few days actually looking up stuff and then I give them a call and tell them these are the possibilities and if they like what they hear, then they order the food. If not, then, you know, at least I know I tried to help somebody. Yeah. So. And you found the information and if it's not available on the shelf, you can order that in? Exactly. We are able to bring in for people. We have a can of an origin, the number one Alberta food. We have Farmina which is a high-end uh, Italian food. You've got your Royal Canine. We've brought in Scrumptious, which is a good food, but lower pricing. We guarantee our food. So if your dog, cat doesn't like it, you bring it back, even if it's opened, and uh, we'll try and find something that they like, and we do store credits. And the cost of uh, food, the cost increases that we're seeing, it's, it's for us, but it's also for our pets. It's, it's for everybody right now. We try and be competitive, um, but with being a small business, we don't have the luxury of buying pallets um, where we can get them on discounts. So realistically, you're just supporting us as a local small family business. We generally go for the higher quality foods, yeah. but we, we try our best to work with people within their budgets, yeah. How important is it for you to be able to, to really understand that person's pet? You know, it, it's really important. Before I started working here, I didn't really know much, but the more and more I'm learning every day, it helps the fact that I have dogs with dietary issues as well. And if I don't know, I 99.9% .9 will try and find out for you. Gary, thanks so much for this. You're welcome, have a great day.